<laughs> All right. Okay, tuendelee sasa. Waambia rundi ya keti. Ufurahi meja anasalimia wale wamemsaidia. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is time for the sorrow to break. It is time for the breakthrough from heaven. It is time for death to disappear. Ah, this is sweet. Go to the book of Isaiah chapter 50. I read a scripture there. This is sweet. So you wonder whether to speak or to stop. Hmm? It's wonderful. The Lord is gracious. I'm looking at line four. Isaiah 50, line four. The Bible says, Okay. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the running that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He awakens morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the running. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. Neither turned backward. Hallelujah. Woo. This is a place of rest. Sasa wale wana wako tunajaribu kukuimbishana na kitu kinaitwa jukwara neno. Ili tuweze kuelewa kuelewa nini ni hiki taifa la Kenya lilifanya lazima uelewe kile Mungu alikuwa amejenga. Kwa maana usipoelewa kile Mungu alikuwa amejenga hautaweza kugeuza kile kiko kikasoro na kinyume. Kwa hivyo tunajaribu kuelewa kile kiko sawa kutoka kwa Mungu kabla atujaanza kunenea hiki kilijengwa. Nao, tukasema ya kwamba mbingu na nchi ziliumbwa kwa neno. You remember that? Mbingu na nchi ziliumbwa kwa neno. I want to put that one in your mind. Never let anybody confuse you. At the bingu na inchi siri tokea is a big bang. That is confusion. And it is not true. He is lying to you. Kwa sababu ya mambo frani, if I was speaking about that, I would have shown you a few things that says siri umbo kwa neno. Faceable things. Kitu cha pili ifadhiwa kwa neno lililo ziumba. Kwa hivyo kila kitu kiliyoumbwa kwa neno kinaifadhiwa, kinaendelea, kinaishi kikishikiliwa na neno hilo. So neno lile alikurundi baada ya kuumba. Lilijenga systems za kuhifadhi kilichoumbwa. Na kabla anja withdraw lile neno mbingu na inji sitaishi. But aki withdraw lile neno bingu na inji sinaisha. Have you understood that? Nipite hiyo pia. Ya tatu. 
aliyeumbwa akapewa miliki katika dunia hiyo iliyoumbwa kwa neno alipewa kuumba vitu katika dunia hiyo kwa neno la kinywa chake so chochote unataka kuwa nacho neno rako ndilo linastahili kukiumba kwanza na kinastahili kuumbika katika eneo la rohoni kabla akijaonekana katika eneo la mwilini kama neno rako alipo akipo nitarudia tena kama unjaongea bando kile unatafuta hakipo let me repeat that again kama hujatamka kile unaenda kutafuta hakipo na ndio sababu biblia hata inasema kwa moyo mtu ukiri uamini na kwa kinywa anakiri anafikia wokofu kwa hivyo lile neno lazima litoke kwa kinywa ili uweze kufikia wokofu hivyo hivyo kuna watu wanashindwa kwa nini Mungu alifanya iwe ni kwa kinywa mtu anakiri afikiri wokofu kwa maana system zote za ulimwengu mwanadamu alipewa kusifikia kwa neno la kinywa chake So ninapotoka kwenda kufanya biashara kitu cha pili cha kwanza ninastahili kuanza ni kunena neno rangu linitangulie naenda kufanya biashara naenda wapi biashara hiyo iko wapi biashara ina gani hivanikiwe vipi Mungu anasema nini sheria yake ni gani nianze kunena nitembee hapo niamkapo ni nini ninanenea eneo lile kabla sinjafika katika eneo lile nduka yangu itakuwa tayari imewekwa kwa sababu neno rangu likifika kule litatenga mahali ninastahili kuwa my customers watakuwa wametayarishwa kwa maana neno rangu lilinitangulia likaanza kuita watu. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So nitaka poanza sitaanza in a vacuum. Unapoenda kufundisha, unataka wale watoto waerefuke. Neno rako linastahili kukutangulia. Neno rako likikosekana kile unafanya unanenea kichwa tu hujanenea utu wa mtu yule unjaumba kile unataka afikie so for you who believes it is so easy Like now some of the uh, kitu kingine nilisema the other day some of you have not even known like the ladies that go to Sarun Sarun nyingi zile zimewekwa na wasichana na wanawake walio katika kanuni ile ya Towara kuna kitu alifundishwa kunena wakati anafanya so akishika nywele zake zako mindomo yake itaanza kuongea so kila wakati anakusuka mindomo yake inaenda ananenea kichwa chako anakirejesha katika nyungu ili uwe customer yake na usipotee na usije ukawa muombezi anayeweza kuomba kazi yake iharibike so kama ulikuwa wa mbinguni atakutemu sauti yako ukiwa kwa kitikire mpaka iwezi kunenea and that is why if you wonder saruns are a place of gossips na something funny unajua ninapitia hata wale wengine hata wako na saruni lakini sipendangi kwa maana ukiingia unakuta neno maneno yamejaa katika anga very strange ones so i kept asking god nini hiki kiko katika nyumba hizi until when he told me understand the mystery ya kutayarisha nywele katika taifa na that industry is controlled by young ladies and women most of them that have passed that order hata wale wako kanisani hawajawahi kuiacha speaking lakini makosa ile yako naye kunena sio mbaya makosa ile aliko naye ni neno lile anatumia because instead of opening you up 
it is shut you down. Actually kuna watu kadhaa wanakuja kwangu ananiambia ninaumwa na kichwa nimesikia nini? Ninapoangalia kichwa chake Mungu ananiambia mwambie aende anyoe kichwa hicho. Atoa hizo hiyo nywele. Hata ukimwombea hiyo haiwezi. Ni neno amefuikwa na limebebwa na nywele hiyo aliwekwa kwa kichwa. Sio kitu kile akitaenda usipo asipo fanya kitu kuuzu kichwa hicho. Na kuna wengine nimeambia, wengine wameenda wamenyoa anyway. Wengine wamepomoa ile nywele na natafukuo kuomba sana anapomoa anaomba sana ili asinyoe <laughs> So mbereni nilifikiri ni wa ni vile kule kuna satanist ni wajua that's what we think satanist mpaka nilipogundua hata wale wananena si mtu ninaweza ku associate na satanism Kumbe ni shuka ya mira wanatumia alifundishwa kunena Tuachane na hiyo sasa hiyo ndio tutakuja kuangalia baadaye So kila mtu aliyepewa maskani katika inji iliyojengwa kwa neno alipewa kujenga nafasi yake kwa neno la kinywa chake Mmepata hiyo sasa najua unataka niongea hapo ili tukae hapo kidogo. Ngoja nipati nipite kidogo. Nafikiri mtaanza kununua video sasa. Nikipita kwa haraka. <laughs> eh? E? Unajua kuna watu hawajui kuna kuanga na videos? Hmm? Mungu atasaidia tuanze ku produce ina masi na kaa pale. Kitu hicho ni kitu changapi? How many are those? Three items is this one The points. Ni tatu. Chaine ni kasema hivi. Wewe na mimi tulio umbwa kumiriki dunia hii tulio umbwa kwa sura ya mungu kwa hivo katika sura ya mungu alitupea all the attributes of his person to operate under. Nataka umark that. Wewe na mimi tuliumbwa kwa sura ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo alitupea all the attributes of his operation to operate and I'm up to operate with. Sasa ukitaka kujua vile unastahili kujijenga, enda katika Biblia usome upate attributes za character ya Mungu. Utajijua vizuri kwa maana uliombwa kwa sura ya Jehovah. Kitu moja kuhusu yeye, one of his attributes, he calls things that are not as though they are. Then he sits and wait for them to manifest. So, anatuma maraika wakati wakusariwa kwa yesu, anataka yesu mokozi ya sariwe. Lakini, can you imagine, in that great venture ya kusariwa kwa mokozi, redemption of the world, anituma maraika abebaye neno la Mungu akamwambia enda kwa msichana aliye mahali fulani malaika alipofika alimwambia hail mary you are blessed among women that is interesting a greeting eh malaika ametokea muuliza how are you mary you are blessed look at the statement look at your friend tell him you better not to lose your blessing turn to the other person tell him you better not to lose your blessing Why? Because the foundation of your word is supposed to be the blessing he blessed you by. Mepata hiyo? So if you lose it, urundi kwa rana, ndiyo sababu taiva lirundishwa kwa rana. Kwa mana likirundi kwa rana, haliwezi kuanirock the treasures of God. So amekuja kwa Mary, akasema, Hey Mary, you are blessed among women. That was not a problem to Mary. She looked Then he said the second word. I want you to mark the next word. You shall conceive. He did not begin saying, I've been sent by Jehovah to tell you you shall conceive. He spoke the word as it comes from the mouth of God, like though it is God who is speaking. That is what we call the angel that carries the word. 
he said, you shall conceive. Can you imagine a mystery, the venture of redemption, bringing God to earth, you want to bathe it by a word? By my word, I create what I want to have. By my word, I judge what should happen. By my word, I bring forth the good I desire and throw away the bad I do not want. By my word, I protect myself. By my word, I heal myself. I declare this, for I believe it, and I know it is true. Amen. Ukapewa kujenga, unacho stairi kujenga, kwa neno. Arafu, ukapewa neno la mungu, ndani yako, kwa mana umeumbwa kwa sura yake, he caused things that are not as they are, then he waits for them to manifest. Yoni kusema, ukitaka kuwa milionea, unaanza mbiashara ya kuhusa kuku, kukukumi, and you want to be a milionea, you begin speaking it. Unasema bwana na shukuru kwa sababu umenibaliki. Umenibaliki ni tokapo na nilundipo. Mimi ni mwenye kubeba baraka. Sasa ni natoka kwenda kufanya kazi. Kwa maana ulisema we dominate, we have dominion over the earth. Na taratibu moja ya kuwa na dominion ni kufanya kazi. Nifanyishe vipawa vyangu kazi. I serve the people. I now declare Nitakuwa na usa kuku. And I declare you in the name of Jesus, I shall be a millionaire by chicken. I declare my customers are ready. By thy word I call them. I declare them that are supposed to help me on the way, they are ready. In the name of Jesus I call them. I declare them that are standing on my way to cast me a foreign. In the name of Jesus, I cast them away. I bless myself by the way. And every morning when you wake up, you do that. And when you are leaving the business, you do that. Utatumia miasisita zikiwa zununuriwi. Because every beginner has struggled with the tricks of the beginning. But the word he is creating. The more you are speaking, it is molding. It is molding. It is molding. After the six months, kuna anza kuja customer moja, pare, mungine pare. Kuna kuja mungine, anatoka kwa hoteli, anakuambia, if I give you a tender, uwe unarinetea 20, will you be able to? Nawambia, I'll try. I'll try. Wanaanza kuja. Wanaanza kuja. Wanaanza kuja. Wanaanza kuja. You continue speaking and speaking. And that word, Will, be, will bring you there. When you feel like it is so dark, never say, Lord, it is dark. It is him, I will be poor. Never say that word. When you feel sick, never say, I'm feeling like I'm dying. Never use such a word. You're making a declaration. I'm feeling like I'll die. I'll die. I'll die quick. When the children are rebellion, don't tell them you are fools. You will never amount to anything. Don't use that word. They are rebellious, it's true. But don't use, you are a fool. Because now you have moved from the area of counsel. You have entered into the area of declaration. You are creating them. Whatever you say, there will be. Don't use that word. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is a movement of the Spirit in the air. The Holy Spirit is saying, I wish they caught that one and understood it. Because some of us, we are not struggling because of the curse of our fathers. We are struggling because we awakened that curse by our curse. 
Nitarudia tena. Some of us, we are not struggling by the curse of our fathers. We are struggling because we awoken to that grave of that curse by our own curse, by the words we speak. So it awoken who you are. So when you, who you are awoke, you got into trouble. Yours plus theirs, you are simply doomed. Yours connected to theirs, your fate is sealed. That's our greatest struggle. He calls things that are not as though they are. I remember the case of one person. Alikuja, anasema, mama alikuja, mbwana yake ni mulevi, ni nini, anakuza ni ope, mama yangu, baba, mbwana yangu ni mulevi, ama namu describe. Haka mbia piga magotu tuombe. Haka mwekerea mkono. Haka omba, haka omba, haka omba. Alipo maliza kuomba, Akamwambia mama kutoka sasa yeyote atakayekuuliza baba fulani yako anje mwambie hivi nabii alienda kuhubiri mama akamuuliza alimwambia an evangelist has gone preaching an evangelist that drunkard come here i have told you never some of you may not understand that but this man knew how a person is supposed to turn. The words of your mouth will create what you are praying for. If your word be bad, you get what is bad. If your word be good, you get what is good. Because you were given to create your space in this world by the word. Create your space by the word. Enda uamuke ukute nisizinyaka kule shiara huko ikifika saa tisa usiku uwa kuna amuka watu saa tisa wakati umekanyanga umerara kabisa kuna watu ndakika hiyo uamuka wanafua mavazi yao wanaanza kusunguka mji wanasunguka 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 kuna watu huwa wanauliza watu hawa huwa wanafanya nini kikwetu tunawaita night runners si ndio Watu wao huwa wanafanya nini? Mtu huyu huwa ni neno anafikisha kwa mungi saa tisa mpaka saa kumi na moja litaka ro control wataka ya amuka na mbiashara zao vile wataka vifanya. Anafunga mbiashara hile inastahili kufungwa wakati huo. Akipitia mahali misizinyaga akonayo. Anasema hii inastahili kukufa. Ikufe, ikufe. Ikufe, anaanza safari yake tena. Akifikia bali uyure, ana, anasema yule yako narara pale, arare usingizi wa mauti, wa mauti, wa mauti. Anafikisha lide neno. That is what they do at night. Ikifika saa kumi na moja ukiamuka, ukisha amuka sasa urundi, ukianza kuomba utasikia kama inji mekatane maombi. Lakini it is covered with a word that rejects that. Na wewe ni kuamuka unaomba Mungu tuhurumie, tuonee huruma sana bwana. Kuna wachawi wengi utusaidie na wachawi. Mungu Mungu, uliona vile tumeteseka hata biashara, sipati customer Mungu usaidie kuwe na customer wengi. Lakini yule mtu si kujihusunikia ali, aliamka kijihusunikia. Aliamka kukiwa na mbalidi, akaweka nguo chini akabaki vile alizaliwa. Kwa nini vile alizaliwa kwa maana jukwara hukumu yule mwanamke aliambiwa ataenda bila nguo kwa maana hilo ndilo vazi lake amevaa aibu. Kwa hivyo kulingana na yeye singu ametoa ni kuvaa amevaa vazi lake la neno. Singu ametoa ni vazi lake amevaa hilo ambiwa au anafaa. Sasa aanze marathon ya kujitayarisha biashara. Afikishe neno katika mji. Lakini wewe utaka poamuka, you will never even, you will not even speak to yourself. You will not speak to the business. You will not, you have said nothing. Your tongue is mum. You are just, you are mumbling vile ukupata customers jana. Unasema mungu saindia leo kuwe na customer jana kulikuwa kumbaya. Mungu hata ulanjua kanjo vile ili nikimbisha kwa mana siku pata. 
atole utarudi bila because kuna mtu alitanguliza neno lake na neno lake ni kuwa linaua so alikukupea nafasi lilikuua na wakisha maliza wanafaa nguo wengine wao wanayo kimbia usiku ndio asubuhi huwa kama wanda wazimu wenda wazimu wa Kenya it is only about 80% eh, eh, 20% huwa mad 80% are not they have been made by a decree ili wafikise neno ndio wanavua nguo usiku wengine wafanye kazi hiyo pamoja na wengine ikifika saa kumi na mbili anarudisha nguo yake anakuja ukinja kufungua nduka ukifungua nduka anakuja anakwambia ni pesa shilingi kumi shilingi kumi shinja kunywa chai ukisikia sauti ya mtu huyo ni mtu shoba lakini utaona kifanya mm-hmm. ana is acting shilingi kumi ni ya nini anataka kufikisha neno lile lile neno usiku kwako si ya chai anaitisha ni ya kupeleka katika jukwaa linalongoja ibanda ukikataa anarara hapo kwa mrango hakuna mtu atadhuvutu kumguza kwa maana wote wanasema ni mwenda wazimu bwana wanajua nyumba hiyo ndio wanajua ah kumbe alikataa mzee yako kazi kwa sababu wewe ni mjinga kila unastahili kufanya ni kusimama alipo sasa utamuke useme mimi ni mwana wa Mungu nimefikwa mbaraka moyoni mwangu hakuna neno lina mauti na kinywani mwangu hakuna neno lina mauti mirango ya kwangu imefunguliwa wazi ili nifanikiwe araaniwe mtu anayeniraani abarikiwe mtu anayenibariki. Araaniwe afungae njia yangu na abarikiwe atakayenifungulia njia. Nafungulia maraika kupita. Naita watenja, naita utakapoanza kunena hiyo ataamka atoroke. Because kila utendeka eneo la rohoni wao wanakijua kuliko vile unakijua. Have you heard what I've said? wao wanakielewa so ukinena siku mbili namna hiyo hutamkuta pale na hutaona amenyosha mkono wako kukuitisha shilingi kumi. anajua ukimpea kumi badala ya kufikisha kile alikuwa nacho kile ulikuwa nacho ndicho kitafika kwake so ata avoid shilingi kumi za kwako because anaelewa ameelewa wewe umesimama katika jukwara neno na neno lile uko nalo ndio liliumba mbingu na inji kwa hivyo lina uwezo mm. are you here with me unaenda kwa hoteli kabla hawaja amka si kuomba unaanza kunenea utensils unanenea sufuria naambia sufuria naweka sheria ya Mungu ndani yako na chini yako makaa ya weka ya wakao chini yako ni sheria na manchi nitaka iweka ndani yako ni neno la Mungu nyumba hii imebarikiwa ataka ikura amepona araaniwe ataka ipanda raana hapa na araaniwe aliye raani mtu anayeninunulia ataka ipokura chakula hiki raana itaondoka yani unatamuka lile neno unasunguka unaanza kupika kuna kikundi hakitaingia kwa hoteli yako. Na kuna wengine wanasema nilikula huko kwa na ushinda ya tumbo ikaisha. Kile mahali hapo ni pazuri pa kula. Because you are dealing now with creating life for yourself and for the people that associate with you. Because every person who associates with you should share your life. Look at your friend. Tell him every man that associates with you should share your joy, share your life, share your healing. Yes. But if you don't have it, he has nothing to share from you. Nothing. 
If you don't even speak, because whatever comes out of, of, of your heart is thrown out by a word. Okay? Point number five. Is it five? The word we speak has two categories. Category number one, the word that kills. Category number two, the word that gives life. The book of Proverbs. The power of life and death are in the power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. So within you, you are carrying something which is a reservoir that God calls the power of of the tongue. Not the power of the anointing. No. That one is in every man that was created by God to have it there. It's called the power of the tongue. So he's saying the power of life and death is in the power of the tongue. Now, the reservoir within is drawn by a word so that you may release out. So you can have that reservoir inside you but you are not able to draw it out. Because you don't know how to tailor your word to fetch what you want from within you. Have you understood? So you kill yourself. Because when you speak a word that falls into the category of death, you fetch death from within you. So you speak it to your life. If you speak a word that is in the category of life, you fetch life from within you. You speak it to your life. So if you don't know how to, to tailor your word, you can not fetch life from within you. The Bible says the heart of a man is like a deep sea. Who can understand it? Then Jesus said, whatever destroys a man is not that which goes in, it is the one that comes out by his word. Because it fetches from within destruction or life. From your word, from your word comes the power. So, so Mary, Mary asked, how shall it be? And I do not know a man. No, look at what they just say. It's in men, the power of the most high shall come upon you. After the word has added, she is being told, it is followed by the power of the tongue. The power from the tongue of the Almighty. It will come upon when it runs, growth will be automatic. Mm -hmm. So when you speak, there are two things that leave you. The word and the power that backs it to create what you have spoken. It can be the power of death or the power of life. All what I have said, they are topics by themselves. You need to understand. Things you need to know. So, nikisikia kama ninaremewa nisema, I don't know whether I will ever make it. Mimi, nimeraaniwa, nitaishi na muna hiyo. You have just cancelled even what was supposed to happen. It is over. Somebody was, that is trying to tell someone. No, that is a declaration. It is not trying to tell somebody. And sometimes when you are confessing, you can find yourself using declaration in your conversations. Those declarations, they build. You think you are talking to her, but you are building your life. So if the declaration is wrong, you get into trouble. Hmm. But when, when you find, like now the man, the woman, mtoto waliye kufa, mtoto waliye kuwa, mama waliye kuwa na irasha, mtoto wamekufa. Akatumana kwa bana yake, akasema, nitayalishie, nitumie, punda, nikimbie kwa irasha pare mulimani. Mzee akatumana kiwa shambane, yendo umulize kwa ni kuna shida nyumbani. Akaambia mfanyikazi, apana, akuna shida, she never said, the child has died. Because that would have been a declaration before she gets where she wants to go. Kachukua punda, katembea, lipo fika mfanyikazi, yaka muliza, 
uko salama akasema niko salama watu nyumbani ni salama wote ni salama mtoto yuko salama salama kabisa akafika kwa irasha akamuliza watu ni salama salama na wewe niko salama na kila kitu salama banda ya the natural those are natural conversations lakini ushawahi kugundua mtu anapokuuliza wambo yu wewe ni salama anasema nani ujui vile nimeteseka wewe ujui mateso yangu na nena juu ya salama Now you have made a declaration. That is why this lady maintained the normal conversation the way it should be. Because that is a normal conversation. Why how are you? I'm okay. Nyumbani? Sawa. Mtoto? Sawa. Hata Irasha alipomuliza alinjibu hivyo hivyo. The natural conversation because the natural conversation lay the beginning of the ones that create your positions. Your entrances, your friendships, your connections, that normal conversation. So if you meet it wrong, like now, if you check your friends are friends because of your conversation. Have you gotten that? The people that are close to you, they are close to you because of the words of your mouth, the way they interact with you, with them. So sometimes you find this person next to you is actually doing damage to your life and you want to do away with him. You cannot do away with him until the conversation changes. Awezi. But if the conversation changes, the friends filter themselves. Simply. Have you got it? If for example ukinjifundisha kila mtu mume mnakutana na yeye unamuliza how are you sister how is jesus good what did the lord tell you yesterday night <laughs> I'm telling you watakuwa wanakuona ukiona unatokea pale <laughs> anaingia njia hiyo nyingine because your conversation unajua kuna watu wanatoa watu hapa kwa sababu ya vile ninakuja nikifika nitauliza what did the holy spirit tell you kuna watu waliondoka kabisa alafu after that ninapea watu one for hour waombe sasa dada moja aliniambia kuna dada ali, aliona apati rafiki yake ametoroka kabisa so akaenda kutafuta kule yuko akamuliza dada kulienda sasa <laughs> ananiambia anasema ati Niwaambia huko mnaomba kila wakati. Mnaomba sana. Hiyo ile ni shida mimi. Nikasema ngoja nitafute kule kunaombwa kidogo. Conversation changes everything. Hmm? So akikataa kukwambia unamwambia mimi jana nilipokuwa ninaomba niliona maono. Sasa una describe maono. Mkimaliza dakika tano utaona akiandika chini na miguu. Akiuliza utamaliza ni ni niame. Sasa yule wa kaliba yako utaona macho ime brighten. Anasema eh? Endelea. Eh? Are you here? Endelea sasa. It has filtered. Huyu mmoja ameanguka on the road side, huyu mwingine amekuwa connected kwako. Huyu ndiye anaweza kukusaidia sasa on the journey. Huyo mwingine alikuwa wa kukuua. The ones that are flowing. So that conversation is what she took care of. Baada ya hiyo akaambia Elisha, Elisha unajua si kuomba mtoto. Can you imagine she has not even said the child has died. Anasema Elisha si kuomba mtoto mimi. That is like saying God gave her him and i never asked for him he cannot die yes. rais aliposikia hiyo akasema akaambia guys kuna shida kuna shida na mungu alinificha alinificha chukua mti huu kimbia uwekelee mtoto kwa uso 
Kwa nini Mungu alimficha? I'll tell you the truth. Kuna watu wanapendanga sana kusema muumbiri uende uombe vile Mungu atakwambia uniambie. Kuna mambo hata muumbiri akiomba siku mia moja kukuhusu Mungu atamuongeresha. Especially mambo that requires the fruit of your ones. Hata muongeresha. Hawezi kumuongeresha. He will require you to talk to him so that he may tell you tame your mouth. Speak the right word. The valley of dry bones it is a contest of the word. The word that kills and the word that gives life. The valley of dry bones. See what walikufa. It is a contest of the word. Israel walikawa wakakinena. Ukaumbika juu bonde la mauti. Likaua taifa. Ezekiel alipo taka taifa liponyo. Akambi wakuja ni kuonyeshe. Akapandisha. Anasema akanichukua katika roho. Akanipandisha. Arafa akaniongusha katika bonde. Akaniambia tazama, niambie hiyo mivupa inaweza ishi. Kasema bwana vile inavyokaa ni mikavu sana na ni mingi na hakuna inashikana na ingine. Wewe tu ndio unaweza kujua. Maneno ya vinywa vyao created a disconnection of the bone. What is a bone? The framework that is supposed to support them. Na sio hivyo tu ikafanya nyama zioze. Nakamwambia hiyo ni neno la Israeli. Hivyo ndivyo wanaongea. Wanakaa kisema sisi ni mifupa tu. Tumesahulika sisi ni mikafu. Hatuna kitu. That is the way they talk. Kamwambia kama wataka kupandiliko Ezekiel inenea prophesy. The word prophesy there is not for tell. No. The word there is not for tell. The word there is speak things that are supposed to be concerning this situation. Speak what you want me to do concerning this. Sasa akamwambia kile anastahili kusema. So he stood there he said and thou bones come together. Then he stood there to see the wonder of the world when he spoke every bone started looking for its neighbor. They are moving. It is the word that has been spoken. That is what it does. They are moving, moving, moving. Connecting what was disconnected. Connecting what didn't know its place. Inatembea, inatembea, inagonga, inatembea, inagonga. Tena, inatembea, inatembea, inagonga. Inatembea, inagonga. They are making movement. Here, they are 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 Then by the time several minutes were over, the skeletons, that is to mean the structures of development are now linked together in the spiritual realm. Then he was told, speak again. He said, I shall put fresh on you. Then he stood there to see. Anaona vitu vinakuwa vinakuwa vinatembea mwili wote vinatembea 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 akitazama mwili wote umefunikwa na mizuri na nyama na kila kitu. Kaambiwa sema tena nitaweka ngozi juu yako. Akaona ngozi zinamea. Then anasema akaambiwa sasa itapepo kutoka kona zote za nje. Waambie sifurutane katika lile bonde. Kasema mpepo leta pumzi hapa. Upepo ukaanza kufurutana all of a sudden the men began waking up. They stood. You are to say, that man is right now ready to be moved. Then God told him, now return, Rudy. Sasa, go and tell them, nitafungua makabuli ni watoe. Na nitawarudisha katika njia. Utajiri wao, nitayari. The word. That is what happens in the spiritual arena when you speak from the natural arena. He was only brought there so that he can comprehend why God is not delivering Israel. Put your right hand say I'm a carrier of the word. A word that gives life. I declare I am not poor, I am rich. I am not sick, I am healed. I am not foolish. I have wisdom. Understanding, 
knowledge. I am not rejected. I am accepted. I am not hated. I am loved. I am not a sinner. I am a righteous man. Therefore I declare. I prosper in the morning. I prosper in the evening. I prosper when it is dark. I prosper when there is light. When they hate me, I increase. When they love me, I blossom. I am a carrier of the word that give life. In Jesus name, Amen. Have you understood that? Jesus. If the church of Kenya can understand that, there is nobody we can sit begging. Because you don't even need to bite them. You just need to gather and say, stand up and dress so and so. Tell him to stop what he is doing. And declare a curse over him if he does not. We don't need to beg anybody. We carry the word. We don't need to mourn. We carry the word. Furthermore, I'll tell you a mystery. The day you got born again, things changed to so heavy. Because now you carry too the word that you were created to work with on earth. And the word that gave you life from Christ. So you are using two. I'm telling you, nobody can be in your position when you know to use that word. Let me look at this word now. Niwaachirie. Nilikuwa nimesema sita nena sana. Lakini nimemaliza na kika tharathini. <laughs> Isaiah is saying this. The Lord. Hmm? Are you there? Where is this? He has given me the tongue of the running. That I may know how to speak a word of the running that can bring healing to the Nindi. Mm. Then he awakens me morning after morning. He awakens so that my ear me reason like the ear of a running that I may know how to speak a word that gives life. He has given me the tongue of the running that I may know to speak the right word that lifts the, the weary, that heals, that sets free. Then he awakens me morning after morning. He awakens me to reason with the ear of the running. Why is he saying that? For you to be able to have life with its fruitfulness, you must have a tongue that knows to speak the right word that can bring life. I'll say that. You must have a tongue that knows. Knows. To speak the right word. That is why he say he has given me the tongue of the running. Then he says something else. He has awoken me. He has delivered me from death. He has awoken me. Do you know who is saying that? The one who is speaking in Isaiah is Christ. It, this is a prophetic word. 
It is talking about Christ. It is Christ speaking about what God did to him so that he may, he may come to be redeemer. He is saying he has given me the tongue of the running so that I may not to speak the right word that can heal. And he has awoken me and he has caused my ears to listen like the ear of a running man. So that I may know the right word. Not only for them that are weary, but even for my life. So that I am able to shape my life by my word. And when he was born, the Bible says, them that listened to him, they said, wow, at the 12, he's seated with the running, and they're saying, this boy, where did he get this? His word. His word. He says, God gave me the tongue of the land that I may know how to heal. And he opened my ear. Alifungua sikio rangu. Akanipea kuzikiza kama msomi. Iri nijue kuchagua neno. The word that you're supposed to use to create things, they have several sources. One for you to be here, able to hear that, why he is talking of that? For you to be able to hear, there are several sources. Number one, you should be able to hear from your conscience. Katika dhamiri yako. Kwa mana, dhamiri upeba neno, linao kulinda na maovu. Iyo ni kumanisha, wakati uko unatereza, unasikia dhamiri imeanza kuugua ndani yako. You're supposed to have a hear that can hear. Kuna mtu wa meria ndani yangu kuhusu jia hiyo. The second source is the, your spirit. The source of your spirit. The, your spirit. You should be able to hear your spirit speak. He always speaks the truth. Number three, you're supposed to hear from the spirit of God. Unastairi kusikisa sauti ya dhamiri yako ya roho wako na the, uh, sauti ya roho wa Mungu naye anaongea kulingana na akili za Mungu silivyo Arafu unastahili kuwa makini kuhusu your meditation say after me my meditations say it again my meditations sauti ya meditation zako unastahili kuisikiza na uweza kuisikia So asipo kusaindia na usipo omba usaindiwe masikio yako yapewe kusikiza kama mtu msomi aweza kusikia neno mahali litokapo liletaye uhai kuna kitu utakosa neno la kinywa chako Then he says this Mustari wangapi wao mwingine anasema nini the Lord who is the master has opened my ears. I have obeyed him and I have not turned back. He has cost me when I hear I decided to obey. When I hear my conscience, I obeyed. When I hear my spirit, I obey. When I hear the spirit of God, I obey. When I run the meditations of my heart the way they are, I obey. I have never rebelled. Therefore, I have a tongue of a running man. So kile unastahili kujifundisha ni vitu hizi vine. Number one, sauti ya isia yako. Mbaka masikio yako ya weza kuisikia. Sauti ya roo wako. Mbaka akili zako siweza kuisikia. Sauti ya roo wa mungu. Mbaka akili zako siweza kuisikia. Na sauti ya tafakari zako. Remember Bibli ya sema, as a man thinketh, so is he. So tafakari zako sinaumba kile unaweza nena. Got in that? 
ukiwa na tafakari kasoro neno lako litakuwa kasoro Now I bless you in the name of the Lord. Amen. I declare the tongue of the runner over you. Amen. I declare the hearer of the runner over you. Amen. You are a carrier of the blessing of God Amen. and you may, must become faithful to deliver it. Amen. You need a word that is wise. You need a word that has life. You need a word that perform miracles. I declare your tongue to be the tongue of a runner man and you are here to be the ear of a runner man so that you may know what to say how to say it when to say it that you may create life for yourself and for your generation I break the yoke of the tradition that bowed you never to hear I command it broken off the, your shoulders I put the yoke of the righteousness of God over your neck I command you to hear Therefore, I release you to go and create your space in the country called Kenya. Amen. They will not give you freely. You must create it. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They will not give you the will you create it. Amen. Create your space. Don't box them with your hand. Stand up and speak. And be careful when you speak. There are some people when they are taught they are so good. Let me tell you, the declaration I made earlier on you has made you to carry something. So there is a way you can go to talk, you put yourself into trouble. Utakuta mtu pegine yako na shida na mama mukwe naenda huko kwa nyumba kusema na wanawake wale wanadiletea shida huku katika jina la yesu na tamuka ukufe What will happen? The lady will die. Na wewe, they will stone you. Because watakuita mchawi. Hawata jua kile hata kama alikuwa mwikuanga. Hawata jua alikuwa mganga. Watasema yure mama furana alioa. Ni mchawi. Aliamuka usiku. Akaongea. Tulimusikia. Na kuku malisika wiki ngapi? Pili. Mama kakufa. Uyo, tumuchome. So utakuta watu na matairi. Achomwe. 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 Na wakati huo mungu atakulinda because you use the tongue of the foolish. Oh, Kusiki ya wanduku wanaya omba. Tunanena njuya kama sasa kire ni describe as bui. Ni kitu kinaweza kufanya ukato kichwa. Na kuta ndada meenda kwa unyumbani ya kupale Na wale walitoa kafara Tunawafunga kwa jina la yesu Mama tatumana tu Aseme binti yangu amerukwa na akiri Endeni mchukue kichwa The tongue of the wise You're getting off your offering. 14th revival to 